Welcome to another live stream of Custom Screen Grinning. My name is Wayne, and this is the new look of the national anthem sung by the military. And this is something I am doing now to honor our troops. Hello there, Paul. How are you doing? Good evening to you. Hope more people come in tonight to join the live stream on Custom Screen Printing. Um, this is what I do on my channel now. I play a national anthem, um, and the national anthem is played and sang by our military. Um, this is what my channel is all about, representing our military, supporting our troops, love of the country of the USA. Um, and that's why I do this national anthem on this channel. Tonight, we're having a live stream, or hopefully for two hours tonight. Hopefully more people show up and come in and join the stream. And I hope that um, everybody will have a good evening and a good evening as well. And hopefully everybody's having a good day today as well. Because this is what this channel is all about. We don't have drama on here or problems on here with anybody. We like to keep people happy on the stream and keep the language clean. So... Tonight, we're, today when I was on a live stream, not many people came in. It was kind of disappointing. Um, I'm having trouble getting people to come in my stream. I don't know what is going on, but this is going to, it's getting very irritating. Um, people don't want to come in much, and I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, um, I hope people will start coming back in here, because I don't do a live stream just to, just for the fun of it, I'm doing it for my channel, the YouTube channel, Custom Screen Printing. And I just hope people all come in to take part of this live stream because I, I don't know why people are not coming in here like they should. But I hope that if people are bad mouthing my channel, I hope people don't listen to them because this channel is not bad at all. It's very server friendly and the host is not a troublemaker. Or, or anything like that. I don't troll people. I stay to myself and I do a stream. And that's what I do. So hope everyone comes in and supports this channel tonight. I appreciate it. So today is a good old day. I, I run the channel the way I usually run it. I have, oh, hey, Mark, the knife. Welcome to the stream. Nice seeing you. I run the national anthem now. I run it differently. I have a National Anthem sung by our troops. Hey, Jonathan. And that's what this channel is all about now. It's like, it's more USA. Um, more of a, um, a USA um, channel that that shows the support for who the military is. Oh, I know, I know. I said you can. Oh, yeah, I know you told me. I've seen it. Yeah. No big deal. It's no big deal. But I had trouble people coming in this morning. I had a morning stream and it was awful. But everything, I'm glad some people are in here tonight, though. Thanks for everybody for showing up. I appreciate it. Um, so, how do you like the national anthem? How how do you like the new one? I This was a, a domain one, it, it's not copyrighted, so it's real good to use. But anyway, I'm trying to get this channel going and I'm glad everybody's here. Um, how's Tasha doing there, Jonathan? Is she feeling better? I hope so. I hope she is. Um, but, you know, YouTube can be kind of, I think YouTube be kind of odd sometimes, you know? But hey, you know, that's that's what happens when you're YouTube. But things go wacky, you know? I don't know. It's just some days, some things they work, some days the um, stream goes well and some days it don't. But I'm glad it's going better tonight. So I'm glad everybody's in here. And I'm wait I'm still waiting for a newer friend that's supposed to come in here. I didn't see her yet, but maybe she'll be here tonight to stop over here. Cause I met her on Terry's channel. I'm not um and uh the one that has the ghost um channel. But um you know, I was over her channel last night and uh she was like you know, I was on there for a while last night. Twelve week was really what's going on there, Paul? Hope you're all right. Please, you don't want you don't want to have that problem. That's not good. That is not good at all. Not at all. 
Jeez, that's bad. Hope you are. I hope you're going to be all right there, Paul. Yeah, it's, it sounds all awesome. very. Uh, they're very uncomfortable. What's causing that, Paul? Do anyway, you have any idea what's causing that? Hope it ain't anything to do with the aneurysm. Jeez, that's awful. That's scary. That would be scary for me. Or if Tasha hasn't shown me or has her the food. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, so anyway, we're gonna be on a two-hour stream tonight. We're gonna hopefully get more people in here tonight. Um, I'm glad that my mods are in here tonight because please keep an eye on the stream for me in case someone comes in here. If someone does come in here that's trolls. Any trolls to me to please take care of it. Oh, okay. All right. Always keep an eye on your medicines there, Paul. You don't want to have a problem. Believe me, that's not fun having a nasal issue. That's the worst thing. It's part of your head and it hurts like a sucker. It's no good. Um, the reason why... I'm not going to do an afternoon live stream anymore because I'm going to be doing my exercises. I'm going to be doing a lot of working out. So it's going to be evening and morning stream. And the afternoon is going to be open for me to work out on my noise, uh, on my exercise and machine, my treadmill. So I'll be doing a lot of workouts. So hopefully more people come in tonight to join us. And hopefully it'll be good people coming in here with no problems. No issues. I just don't. Um, I had to uh, get rid of someone off my channel recently because he's hanging around with trolls. And I don't need trolls in my channel. So I had to can the person out of here. I know you all know him, but I can't help that. It's just what happens. And and uh, that is what I had to do. And he's a magnet fisher squirrel, and I had to block him. Because he's hanging around with some trolls and I had to do what I had to do. So that's why I that's why I did not I don't want he let him he let that kid in here twice in my stream. He snuck him in here and I blocked him twice. So that's why I don't want him in here anymore. I had to make that decision as a as a host of a channel. So hope no one gets upset about it. It's just I had to do what I had to do. So, for my own good. So, I'm just trying to keep the, the channel, you know, troll-free and uh, things like that. So, I was going to go on six tonight, but I made it a little early because I seen uh, Paul was in the channel, so I had to start it early a little bit. There's nothing wrong with starting it early. So, let me see if this other side's working here. No, it isn't. Okay. Yeah, I know, Paul. He kept on letting that kid in my channel. I ain't going to mention his name, but he kept on. He was popping in when he shared me out. He came in. Started mouthing off to me, and I had to block him, banned him from the channel. So that he has more than one channel, though. So I don't want to give any publicity to him. So let's forget about him too. But this channel is a good channel. I'm trying to keep the channel, and I'm trying to get it to grow more. But you know, so I'm just hoping I can get this channel to grow more, and hopefully get more people to come in. So you know. Since that YouTube is doing something about this this situations that are on here and they, they're doing more about it right now. So I hope they use your idea, Paul, which you recommended to them. But uh, you know, some weird stuff that people do on YouTube. It's it's, it's a non stop problem. It's gonna be hard to deal with, unfortunately. 
every time I mention it, the numbers go down. So I know they're trying to listen. They're listening to me right now. That's why the numbers went down. They're listening. Of course, YouTube will put that back in. They can't listen to a stream when they're blocked from it. But we're going to be on here for two hours, and I hope more people show up here and no let anybody influence you. <sighs> so, but I am um, going to make those baseball caps this this, this year. Um, this is the year I'm going to be doing it because now it's one more of the coming in. I have the uh, press already designed and already uh, lined up and the whole thing. So it's going to be working pretty good and it's ready to put the logos on and everything. So, so we had two, we had several people in here earlier, but it wasn't a lot, but you know, it was like, I know, Paul. I hope they use their idea. I really do. Because we need to clean up this YouTube. Because they need to get rid of the, the bad channels on YouTube, the trolls, and the bad channels that have too many accounts. You know, because this kid has a lot of accounts and keeps on making up all the channels. He's a pain in the neck. I don't know why they keep letting them be on here. They shouldn't let people with autism be on YouTube. They should be in the autism down here. They can't handle it on here. They have to get rid of the autism, all the handicapped. People that are, they shouldn't be on multimedia. It's bad. It's a bad idea. I know, Paul, that's a good idea. I like the idea you you brought to the table to them. If they listen to you, they'll be pretty good. If they listen to you. And I hope they do. So now I have zero up there. No, one, no one's coming in right now. I know who they were listening, but but that's what happens every time I do a channel. That's what happens. I do a live stream, and some people will listen outside the stream, and they disappear afterwards. It's stupid. It's stupid and dumb, you know. But that's what happens when you have people outside your stream listening in. And I know you're all here. And I just like, I just hope more people show up here though, that I know. I'm hoping that new, uh, new mod comes in here. I have too. A new friend of mine. But anyway, I'm glad you all are here tonight. And we're going to be on here for a while. So. Oh, that's what she's doing out there. <laughs> John, is she, is she feeling better? She feeling a little better?
<laughs> but anyway, um, feel say. I just hope my friend got his shirt today. I'm gonna to check the. I'm gonna go check on this on that um tracking information, everybody. Keep talking to each other. Let's get that. Hmm. 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 
All right. Wanted to check on something. I wanted to check on something, everybody. So I wasn't going too long. I want to ask this guy if he got it. I'm hoping you guys this package today. Oh, okay. That's cool. I want to put this on this mute on this mic. I want to call this guy. All right. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm hoping you got this package. I told I, I text him, so maybe he'll read his text and find out. Um, I hope he did. Uh, so anyway, his package was delivered. Hopefully he got his package. He got it on time. Go on to the next phase of making baseball caps this year. Is one of my next projects. So I'm hoping to go live stream the two hours tonight. Oh, good. Okay. Okay, good. Oh, wow. Hey, 
Yeah, yeah, she is. Let me give you a wrench. Hold on for a minute. There you go. You got your blue jacket now, my friend. Glad you're here. How you doing, Karen? The real McCoy? You got your blue wrench now. You have it now. So, welcome to the stream, my new friend. You got the wrench? Type in here and see if you got the wrench all right. How you doing, Karen? How are you? You all good. You got the wrench. Okay. Welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. Nice to see you now. You're one of my mods. Glad you're here. So how are you doing today? How are you doing, Karen? How, how are you? I'm all right. I'm doing just fine today. Thank you. Everybody can say friend, say hello to my friend Karen and see the real McCoy. I met her on Terry, the, the Ghost Hunter channel. Okay. You can drop your link in here, Karen. Put t shirt like this. I'll show you how to do it. If you want to get followers, put this thing in. It's a night bot. And it will drop this link like that. So spell that in there and it'll drop your link. And uh, some of the, these people in my channel are really good people. So you can get your hook on to them. So you can have a new friend. <laughs> You're funny here, yeah, Paul. <laughs> yeah, these people are nice. They're they're one of my uh, friends I knew at um, um, Terry's channel. She's a uh, uh, the Holy Cow Girl uh, Hauntings. She's one of her mods over there. Karen is, and she's a real good mod. So I figured I I knew her from her channel. We were on your phone today. Okay, no problem about that. And. Um, I'm glad that you are here. You're always welcome here there, Karen. Glad you're one of my new mods on the channel. So you can deal with the problems they come in. It's always good to have new friends. And, and if you can share me out, Karen, to other friends on Terry's channel, please do. That you can get more of them over here. And Now, who's this now? Anyway, I watch your lives a lot. I don't. Can I listen while I'm traveling? Yeah, I know. Now, you ain't the time traveler, are you? Are you the time traveler? You look like him. Tall, John, Paul, unmasked. Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I know who he is. He's cool. Okay. Welcome there, John Paul. I'm asked. How you doing? Nice to see you here. We're having the two-hour live stream tonight. And hopefully more people show up here tonight. And you can actually enjoy the channel tonight. Well, you live in Colorado. Okay. No problem about that. Colorado's a nice place. I know someone that's on YouTube that lives in Colorado as well. Oh, I know. I know he is. He's cool, though. He was on my channel for a while. I just 
he commented on some of my videos. He watches my my channel. Okay. So anyway, we're we're um. Let me think. See, I'm a shirt designer. I I screen print shirts. That's what I usually do. And um, I just um. Just got over doing some shirts. I didn't put the video. Oh, I forgot to put it up today. Oh crap! I gotta do it tomorrow. I almost I forgot to put the video up there. Four o'clock. I gotta do it tomorrow. I gotta put it up tomorrow at four. I forgot to do it again today. I I just slipped my mind. So busy today. But I'll put the video up tomorrow at four. I want to put it up when people can see it. Um. So anyway, um. The guy, my my friend got his shirt today. It's good. They, I delivered it to him. He, had, he only took two days to get the shirt, so he, he got them now. So I'm happy for him. So we're all set with that. So now I have to uh, make the baseball caps now. Oh, yeah, I know. I may, I'm going to make some more of those, too, but not videos. I have to make a short video out of that T-shirt video I made, too. No, he got a troll, Gary. He's fine. He's one of my uh, friends. He's a good channel. Don't bother with him. He's fine. He's a new channel. I had him. Yeah, he always watches my videos. He's fine. He's okay. And um, unfortunately, we have, um, we get new people in here, you know. No, he got a troll. He's good. He uh, watches my videos all the time and stuff. He's a small channel. John Paul on Mass, you have to get more followers, dude. Yeah, you get more followers on your channel too, and get more more videos up on your channel, and get more followers on your channel. Um, because you know you, if you want to grow your channel, you gotta get more more uh, supporters. Um, I do all kinds of videos. I like to make. Uh, I, I I like to interview some veterans. Um, and interview some that haven't been recognized for their efforts i know it's going to be a kind of difficult thing to do but i want to try to figure out how i can do that that i can get people you know to talk about their experiences about how the veterans are being treated and and you know oh i know So we are working on towards, um, we have to get, I'm trying to grow the channel more and everything. I'm trying to, but I like having a friendly channel. I do have, I love meeting new people and I enjoy it. So we want to see this channel get more and more, more and more popular in the areas um, that I can actually um, do more stuff on here. But the t-shirt, I want to do more t-shirt printing on this. I want to do, but who knows what's going to happen. But we are a good channel. And that's what makes a difference, you know. We we do make um, a big difference. And we want to make a good example to everybody else, too. So that's what custom screen print is all about, is making good examples. And I like to be a good example to everybody that comes in here. And we... We have good, good people in here that show up here, and you know, and that's what makes it, a, it makes it a big deal. You know, what I mean, it's like um, we want to have a a big channel, but also keep the the, the channel friendly, server friendly, and keep you know it clean, like I always do. Um, but tonight it's good, good, it's a good, a good, uh, good people on here and everything. Oh, really?
I'm back. I had a phone call. I had the phone call, so I had to block that out. Sorry, folks. I'm here again. I'm this. Okay. So anyway, um, um, I have a, I do, I do screen printing. It's a hobby right now. It's not a business yet because it, it takes a lot of, a lot of work to make it a business, but it is a hobby right now. I want to make it into a business later. That's why I don't consider myself a business yet. Custom screen printing, the only channel to show how the shirts are done, but nameless t-shirt wear is a, is a, hobby for now until later but anyway i'm glad everybody's here tonight and um i had a phone call i had to take so i had to keep it personal i had to mute the mic and everything my my signs are acting up on me too i gotta take my medicine a little bit for that but we're gonna have a good stream now we're gonna have on stay on here for two hours hopefully tonight and maybe if everything goes well it might be for two hours not one but it's gonna be two um I'm just trying to get myself situated. Yeah, I know. It's hard to be a business, Paul. It really is. Especially the way the economy is and the prices are ridiculous. And I try to keep my prices down, but if the prices keep going up, I'll have to jump my prices up too because this is ridiculous. My, now, I used to buy the stencil, but I'm now with more money for it. So it's ridiculous. It's hard to run a business when you a hobby when you and it's hard to get a business going because it's hard to you know you have to get a license it's a pain in the neck but a hobby's fine you don't have to have a license but you know I was doing it for a hobby for a while and if I keep I have to keep doing it for a hobby till later that's why I don't consider myself a business right now but um so I'm gonna just keep going when I have to go at my own pace. And uh, I know, Paul, you're doing what you're doing with the rigs and stuff. They're pretty cool. Me, I everything I have in my shop is homemade. And I never buy any equipment I don't do. Yeah, same here. Well, I want to do it as a hobby. I make a little money for myself, too. Yeah, they are terrible, Karen. You know that, right? Hey, Mary Jane, how you doing? Welcome to the stream again. Yeah, it's hard to make a business because the prices are ridiculous. and, and everything. But I try to make it as a hobby because that's what it is anyway. And, and I got a website. Yes, I got a website, but it ain't a business. That's the thing. I have a website. Yes, they let people know they can get a hold of me easy and everything. So everybody, if you don't have Karen C, the real McCoy, you can drop your links in here and check her out. She has a good channel, and she's a nice lady. And she came from the Holy Cow Girls channel. Cherry, if you you must have know her. She came in here several times, and she's a good friend of mine. And she's also a friend of uh, James Midnight Paranormal, which I haven't seen James in a long time. I hope he's doing well. I hope he stops by here sometime because. I want to, Terry's even wondering how James is doing. I hope he's all right. And I hope his mom's all right and his brother's all right. Hope they're okay, all three of them. And so I hope that everyone is doing good tonight. We are having a big crowd here and I'm glad everybody's here. Um, but, you know, this, this channel of mine is a friendly channel. I like meeting people. And this is one thing I like doing is meeting people. I like interacting with people. And I always have. And, and when I'm friends with people, I'm genuine. You all know that. I never turn my back on my friends. The only reason why I got rid of one person because he was hanging with the wrong crowd. And I, I can't have that in my channel. I just can't. And I just I just can't have that in my channel. I need my I need to keep my my channel safe. And you I know you all understand that very well too. Oh yeah, Mary, you know that, right? It's bad, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty bad. The prices are ridiculous. Stuff I use in my my hobby is expensive as hell. 
I got to get some more stencil film and I got to buy it this week, but it's expensive. And so I try to keep it as a hobby because a business will even be worse to run a business. So I try to keep it as a hobby right now. I'm all, I'm not considering myself a business. I try to tell people that, but I deal with them as a hobby, like to make myself extra money, but it's not a business. It's too damn expensive to be a business and hobbies are right, but a business, forget it. It's like pulling teeth, you know, pulling, trying to take nails out of a, out of a thick piece of wood without a hammer, you know what I mean? It's like, forget it. The prices are, are, are ridiculous. But anyway, we we'll have to keep pushing, I guess, and everything. But anyway, um, I got to tell people, you know, it's a hobby. Because it's too expensive to be a business. It's a ridiculous. Prices are, uh, are skyrocketing. Things going up. Um, see, I, I made t-shirts. I See, everything I have is all made. I couldn't afford the ten thousand dollar press. There's no way, in, no way, shape, or form can I afford the ten thousand dollar press. No way in the hell I could afford that. That's ridiculous. So I made my own press. It only cost me thirty bucks to build it, and it, and it does me, it does me well. I did some upgrading it yesterday, and I fixed it. Now it's even better because I have the nail gun, and I use my nail gun to fix to build it the rest of the way the way I wanted in the first place. I'm thinking about having two weeks stay in the hotel. I'm going to get a small boat to go out about a mile out. So then, I don't know, what are you going to put me in a hotel? I'll pay for it. Paul, what are you going to do that for? I'm thinking about having a two week stay in the hotel. Oh, you're staying in a hotel. What's that mean, going to call? Get a small boat to go all about mile call. Life boat. Tell them. You're going to tell them you're illegal? You don't want to do that, Paul. You don't want to get yourself in trouble. Oh, my gosh, Paul. What? Hmm. Oh, okay, you're trying to, that's what the government do. Oh, that's what they do? Serious? Oh, my gosh. It sounds like our government over here, too. They, they do stupid things like that over here, too, treating people unfairly. But, the well, I don't want to get into politics. Please don't. I, don't, I want to stop talking about politics because YouTube will get pissed and, and they'll shut this channel down. So we got to be careful, Paul. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> They don't, they don't, they don't not like talking about politics on YouTube. They, they don't like it. We know it, Paul. So I know what you're talking about. I understand that. I do understand, but we got to put that under wraps, okay? All right. Thanks, Paul. But anyway, hope everyone's doing good tonight. And I appreciate your concern, Paul. I'm concerned as well. So you're not alone. I heard, I heard a lot about that on the news, and I heard a lot of other stuff, but it's just ridiculous, you know. Life is a pain in the neck anyway, it really is. Life's a pain. It really is. Some things can be really a pain in the neck to everybody, you know. Life is as a pain in it as it is. But, you know, we go through all our, all our time and all the problems we all go through, and it's understandable, you know, about what you're talking about. I, I'm sympathetic myself, so. Yeah. But I'm trying to keep my mind clear here. <laughs> trying to get my, my thinking going here rightly. If you get a chance, watch York Short Rose in England. Really? Was that a video on YouTube? Hmm. 
Wow. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a YouTube channel. Okay. Gotcha. I'll write this down. She has a YouTube channel. Can't you put a link in here, um, Paul? You got her link? Scrolls around, film it all. Is she a YouTube channel, YouTube follower? Is she a YouTuber? Oh, can you can you drop her link in here if you know what it is? I don't know if you can drop it in here or not. If you know how to, I'm sure you do. Yeah, see, you know what it is about YouTube that I like about YouTube when people have an interest. This is what interests me. When people want people to know about something, they'll record it and put it on YouTube. And that shows us what is going on. That shows all of us, the U.S., any, everywhere, what is going on in you, what's going on in our world. That we have, that we can see what is going on. We See, we don't know unless we, Cause that's what YouTube is all about. It's an awesome platform that shows a lot of things that interest us, that it can pull our interest in. And it's great to see that. Like, oh, okay. Let me write this down, Paul. Let me write it and get my pen again. What did I do with my pen? There we go. Let me write Oh. Oh, okay, there's a link. Hold on, Paul. Let me get this. Oh, okay. I only described him. I'm always subscribed to him. I knew it was so long. <laughs> no shows. No shows. If you get the right link, let me know, Pop. Um, we have a um, that's a good about YouTube. It's like, let me try something, Paul. Let me try something here. Is this her, uh, Paul? Is that her, her channel?
Zero channel. I'll oh, shoot this is it. Hold on. Yep, it's her channel. I thought I had it. Okay. I'll subscribe to her. I thought I had the right channel, so. Okay. I got it. I got it, Paul. I got the right one. I, I got the link. So I have my subscribe to her. I subscribed to her already, so. This is one you told me. To, this is it, right? That's it, right? That's hers, right? I got to subscribe to her already, so. That's her channel. I got it right. I always, I found it when you put the link in. Okay. We'll look it up later when I'm done with this thing. So, I'm um, thanks for the link there, Paul. Good job. It's always good to hear from journalists that um, they put things out like that for a reason. Because they're concerned and they want everybody to know about it. And I, I think that's a great idea. That's, that's what a correspondent is to journalists. It's always good to hear that on on um on a um on the YouTube channel. Um right back. Okay. It's always good to hear from that on the YouTube channel. You know what um what um we have um what's going on in the world exactly what is going on you know because it's always a uh, um it's always like to be informed about things you know it's good to be informed about things and everything so. It is. I got my picture of the veteran on this background screen. Um, I'm glad everybody's here tonight. And uh, we're going to go for two hours tonight. And hopefully, we'll get this two hour mark in and more people will show up here tonight. It's good to have all my mods in here tonight and everything. I'm just. Yeah, sorry if I'm yawning so much. It's always good to have a good old quiet live stream and um, having a good live stream that happens to be very peaceful and very quiet. Everybody's in here. And uh, hope everyone's having good weather where you are, everybody. Yeah, that's a veteran saluting the flag. Um, so mostly about supporting our troops and, and loving the country we live in. That's what my channel is all about, as well as screen printing. And that's why I put the national anthem on my channel for it because. I want people to recognize to recognize our veterans because of their the hard working and and they're also they do their job well. Some people lose their lives in wars. Some people come home missing limbs and everything is sad, you know. But they chose to do it, and that's what makes them heroes. You know, they chose to sacrifice himself to keep the country there recommend recommending free from the bad countries of the world 
and everything. So, you know, it's something that I chose to do. And every time I see a veteran, and I tell him, and I told that veteran too, I said to him, I have a YouTube channel and it represents you. I put the national anthem on, I play it, support you guys. And I also tell them, you know, to be thankful to for our truth for for their service they they put into the the service they put in to keep our our freedom intact and our world free and they pay their price and they do that but you know when they lose limbs they say I did it for because I love my country and it's sad to see them not having their limbs but they lose their limbs in wars and it's sad some people can't continue to be in the military when they go through that and it's sad. You know, it really is sad. I walked up to a veteran one, I think it was the other day, three or four days ago. Yeah, I know. And um, and I said to the vet, no, veteran, I walked up, I, well, he was coming and trying to, uh, he was going into a store. And I was walking by, so I figured to say to him, I asked, I said to him, thanks for serving our country. And the first thing that come out of his mouth is that you're the first one that ever said that to me. That's what he said to me. The first thing you saw, so you are the only one that said that to me. All those years I served, and this guy was up in age, and it sad my heart. Yeah, it sad my heart to hear that. I met a 75-year-old man, like I think like four or five years ago, and I he was in a donut shop, and I was in there getting a the coffee, and I seen this man and I said to him, this is for COVID came in, right? It was more than five years ago, but it was before COVID came in. I correct my words. And I shook hands with him. I said, you know, thank you for serving our country. And you know, he said to me, no one ever said that to me. All the years I've been in the service, I've been retired. Even when I was in the service coming out, out of the store, no one said thank you to me. You are the first man that said that to me. And I said, you're a hero. And when he come out of his mouth, he was so down. He said, no, I'm not a hero. I said, well, you are a hero. In my book, you are a hero. I shook his hand and I said, you know, a tear came out in his eye. And I said, you are a hero. I said, you fought in the war. You are a hero. And don't you ever forget that. He says, thank you. I'll never will. I said, you remember that. I meant it. And I meant every word to you. Thank you so much to serve and, and thank you for protecting us all those years and he was happy he left that place with a smile on his face okay he left with a smile on his face knowing i said that to him and i meant it and to this day it makes me feel good to know i was i did a service and, and i told him oh really man i didn't know that well what rank was he in what what kind of what rank was he was he a higher rank official? That's good. That's good, uh, Beverly. So what was his uh, rank in the service of the Army National Guard? Was he a higher up official? Or what was he, uh, Mary? I know, Paul, I know that. I couldn't go in because I'm disabled, but I couldn't either. But if I wasn't, I would. That's good he served, though. It's nice to hear that, Mary. It's always good to hear that story. You know, it's always, I like hearing that, and I, I really appreciate all of them that served in the military. I really appreciate every one of them. Because, man, I, 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 I'm I thankful for everyone that served in the military and, and you know, and that, and that did their service for our country. That makes them heroes in my book, you know. So we're here for an hour, another hour to go. And... Oh, okay. What's SP6? I don't know what that is, Mary. Could you explain that, what that is? I don't know what that is. It's good he served. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. They had to have a lot of hard work to get there, huh? I met and one guy I met, um, he was in the Vietnam War. 
and things that he told me they called him when he came home. See, that war it was a kind of a different war, but the veterans were heroes because they went through hell and back when they went through that war. And some of them never made it out. That's sad too. That was sad. So I I hope that every day that we all never forget what they what they what our veterans uh, fought for and why they fought for it. Let's never forget them. Let's always remember our veterans, past and present, because look at Scroll. Well, Scroll's not in my channel anymore, but his dad was in the Vietnam War and he died. So and that touched him pretty deeply. So let's be thankful for his service as well. Because if Scroll wasn't hanging around with trolls, he would be in here right now. I had to remove him because I had no choice because he's hanging around with trolls. And I don't need trolls in here. Thank you. So I had to remove him. Sorry, but I had to. It's my, I had to make that decision. So. But anyway. Oh, okay. Oh, I got you. That's nice. Yes, John, Paul, I'm asked. Well, we're going to keep going until two hours tonight, and then we're going to be done with the night. Then I have to watch, come all around watching some videos tonight to support people's channels, and I have to get around and do that. I have to make an effort. So hopefully I could do that. And then the new person I got on here, too. So I can watch her channel as well. I'll be right back, everybody. Don't go away. Anybody. I want to put my camera on Avatar. Uh, Oh, really? Serious, huh? Wow. Jeez. I'm going to go eat my dinner for pretty soon, so I'm going to put this avatar on. I'll be back in a minute. I have to go get my dinner. I'll bring it in here. I won't eat in front of the camera, though. I'll keep it off. I'll mute it.
All right. They kicked him out. Kicked him out. Oh. Uh. Really? All right, I'm going to mute myself here. I'm not being rude, but I'm going to mute myself. So I'm going to eat my dinner without the mic. I'm going to mute the mic in the webcam. So everybody talk to each other in the chat. Um, chicken patties and french fries I'm eating right now. So I'm going to mute myself and eat privately, and I'll be on here watching everybody, but I won't be talking, okay? I don't like eating in front of the camera either, so I want to keep it muted, but I'm still in the stream. I'm listening to all of you, but I'm not talking, so let you know that to be respectful, okay?
Anyway, I like to eat my, my meal slow. So I hope everybody will continue to come in and join the stream tonight. Um, you made a video? Okay, I'll watch that afterwards, too. I know I have to go on Paul's uh, channel, too, so I have to make some trips over certain people's channels and show support for people's channels and everything. I have to start doing that as part of being a YouTuber, show support and help everybody else's channels out, too. Well, anyway, um, we're doing very really well. It's like an hour and 18, so we're going to go for two hours tonight, and then we're going to... Uh, um, I'm gonna write some of these things down to see my pen here. Excuse me. Oh. <laughs> Sounds good too. I, uh, I gotta pause my channel so I'll be right back for a bit. Had to sneeze. I can't eat any fat in my. I'm on a special diet. I can't eat fat in my in my diet. I can't. I'm on a special diet. Um, some people can eat it, but I can't, though. Um, I got, I got to go on an exercise and stuff. I have to look. I got to work out in the afternoon starting on Monday. Um, on my exercise machine, we'll be working out on. Um. So, no. Uh, uh, I got two machines in my house. I don't go to the gym. I have a gym in my house. So I work out my, my running yoke. That sounds like a, um, what do they call that? Post eggs? Is that what that is? 
That's what runny yolk is. It's poached eggs, right? And red sauce is hot. Is that red sauce hot? Oh, it's raining there all day, Mac? Really? That's awful. Red sauce. Is a red sauce hot? Sounds like a poached egg. Runny eggs. You know, poached eggs and over a toast. Oh, I can't eat fried. That's not for me there, Paul. Not no good for me. I only eat um, scrambled or, or white yolks. That's good for you. Yellow ain't good for you. Tomato sauce is all right, but. Yeah. You can make a, you can make that same thing without frying the egg, though. But, you know, people like what they like. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. You know that how I, I talk on my channel. I don't, it doesn't bother me, but I know that poached eggs are over toast. You know, two you, you eggs. Are, yeah. But, you know, people like what they like, and there's nothing wrong with it, you know. I, um, I like scrambled eggs, though, and, uh, or regular eggs in the sandwich with some bacon and, and, um, you know, and, and uh, pancakes and the whole bit, but it's not fries. Yeah. Yeah, people, you see, everybody likes different things, you know, it's cool. It's all cool. It's all cool. It's all cool. Mira, I thought I watched your one of your videos before too, and I remember when you said that um, you said I don't want to cook. You know, I make I don't make many videos because I don't like to cook too much. I remember you saying that. I, th I thought it was funny. I thought that was funny. You said, you know, I don't want to make a video right now. I don't feel like it or something like that. And I watched one of your videos before, and I started laughing when you said you don't want to cook right now. You don't feel up to it and everything. And that was kind of funny. I feel the same way sometimes. But I love my pizzas. I'll tell you that one. I most definitely love my pizza. I tell you, I make my pizzas healthy. I don't make them fat. I don't got no fat in my pizzas, so they're all healthy, so. <laughs> yeah, I know, huh? How about two pigs in the blank? You ever had that, Mary? Put the sausage and wrap it around the pancake and, oh, that good. That's good. A little uh, syrup over it. Oh, that delicious. I like waffles, too. I got a waffle maker. I got a waffle maker in there. Hey, Judy May. Here's another one that can cook good, everybody. Judy May Collins. Hey, Judy May. Good evening to you. Here's a good cook, everybody. You want to talk about cooking? This is Judy May specialty. And they're, and they're talking about cooking in here, Judy May. This is your favorite conversation. So yeah, this is a woman to talk to about cooking. She's pretty good. Every time I go to a team, she's cooking something, I, I leave hungry afterwards. That's the thing. <laughs> So she has a great channel, everybody. Judy May Call is a big channel, but she's a good cook. And if you watch some of her videos, you'll be leaving there hungry too. So, so that's your favorite subject, dear Judy May. They're talking about your subject, cooking, so you can talk to them about things and and discuss uh, what kind of dishes you like to cook, Judy May, in here and share it out with them. It's always good to hear your point of view, Judy May Collins. So she cooks some wonderful dishes on the channel.
Oh, okay. See everybody, she's talking about a good meal already. I like that, you everybody. Read what she said. Toes in the hole. What the hell? What's that, Mary? I never heard of that one. I heard a, I heard a dish name. Um, I don't want to say it on here. It sounds disgusting. Yeah, what is the name of that now? I read it in the menu one day, and I thought it was kind of weird. Um, I don't want to say it in here. It didn't sound nice, but. But when Julie May has a good cooking channel, and man, I'm telling you, she can cook. I'm telling you right now. And uh, it's good to see her here tonight. Oh, that sounds good there, John. John Paul and Mast. Sounds good. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Huh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I know, I know. I never heard that one. That don't sound good. <laughs> I'm not being nasty, but it don't sound right. Don't sound right. Yeah, so... Um, they have some weird dishes. People call things weird dishes, you know? It's weird dishes, they call. They have weird dishes. Like, they had one, um, I read in the restaurant before, and I thought, I started laughing. I mean, it was so, it was so dumb. They say, uh, how can I put this? Uh, it's on a shingle, like, um, uh, SOS. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't that sound stupid? <laughs> what what is that anyway, Judy Mae? Can you explain out what that is? Can you explain what kind of dish that is? <laughs> stupid name to it. You knew what I was talking about. Oh yeah, then we'll go just just get a regular bagel and oh, okay. Just get a regular bagel, like an onion bagel or a blueberry bagel, whatever you want to call it. Put the pizza sauce on it, use a spoon, and put the cheese over it and the pepperoni and cook it for 20 minutes. It'll be good. <laughs> That, when I read that in the restaurant, I was in the restaurant before with my mom and stuff and my brother and stuff. I, read, I started laughing. Yeah, but I started laughing. The lady said, what are you laughing about? I said, sorry. I, I, he said, 
the way they call that is, oh, no, it does sound funny, don't it? I said, yeah, it does. I started laughing. I couldn't help it. Oh, okay. I started laughing right in the restaurant. I couldn't help it. It was a, it was a small, you know, mom and pop restaurant at the time. I did get burned to the ground, I think. It was too bad, though. I, I, I like the place, but um, it was nice. It's a small, it was a small mom and pop restaurant owned by a, a, a husband and wife. But I think it burned to the ground years and years ago. It was a shame, though. You poor cream was one of my favorite places. I, that's why I had that two pigs in a blanket. You ever heard of it, everybody? You ever heard of two pigs in a blanket? You put the sauces and wrap it around a pancake and put a little syrup on it. It's really good. It's one of my favorites. Really one of my favorite. Um, I like it very much. <laughs> so it was good. It's a good, uh, good um, pig, two pigs in a blanket. It was nice. Put sauces and wrap it around a pancake. It's awesome. With a little syrup on it and everything. That's one of my favorites. I'm going to be making some of those pretty soon. Delicious. I really definitely think. You know what that is too, Jimmy Man? It's good, isn't it? I used to eat that at Newport Creamery. Oh, it is a different old where you are, Paul, huh? Oh, okay. I like it wrapped around a pancake with a little syrup on it. Really good. Really good. You do it any way, any way you think about it. I didn't know that. Well, I never ate it like that, but I ate it in the pancake, and it was for breakfast. They made it, and they made it a good breakfast out of it. That was delicious. Oh, that place that used to do that. The place went out of business. Like, man, was that good. I can't. I don't like mushrooms. I'll pass on the mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. They, they, oh, hey, Rita. Hey, Rita, welcome. Welcome to the stream, Rita. Nice seeing you here. We're talking about food here, Rita. <laughs> you can share your favorite dishes on here if you like to talk about food in the conversation on here. It's fine and dandy. I was talking about two pigs in the blanket I like and what I like and wrapped in a pancake and a, some syrup over it. And, oh, is that good? <laughs> oh, my God. We're having fun here talking about food here. So join us there, there Rita. Oh, really? I cook pizzas. I make pizzas and pies, and I can cook too, but I like making pizzas and pies, though, you know, and and, um, and everything, you know. And I like the yummy stuff, you know, that's not fat, and I cook it all light so I don't get no gain weight on it. I think you can, Paul. I know you can. I never knew you couldn't. <laughs> oh, we got eight up, seven up there now, huh? We got all the mods in here. Don't worry about it. I'm going to mute this. I'm going to pause this again and eat my rest of my dinner as you were talking about your food. Hey, Rita, I'm going to try to make a pita, put a pita bread with put pizza on it. Try that. I don't know how good that's going to come out, but they say pita bread, you can make pizza on it. They call it a pizza dough. 
And I want to try that. I'll see how it comes out. Okay, Mary, see you, see you again. Paul, you said you made what now? Let me read that. I made a birthday cake for the neighbor's boy and done it like a football pitch, made a goal post. And wow, that sounds good, Paul. That sounds pretty good. Huh. Must have enjoyed that very much. Must be enjoyable. Hmm. Must enjoy that. Wow, cool. Sounds good to me. I'll write back, folks. I'm back again. Dwayne doing the honk, honk, honk. And I'll take it all. <laughs> what do you mean, the hokey pokey? That song's for kids. That's a that's a that's kind of a song that's teaching kids how to. Um, uh, I couldn't remember what they said. That's an old song. That's the hokey pokey, and you do it, move around. That's why it's all. That's a kid's song. That's a kid's thing for little kids. That's what it was written mostly for. No, I'm not doing the whole <laughs> No, I'm just had to go deal with it. My what my brother was talking about. I had to go talk. I don't what he was up to. He's all right though. No, I'm not doing the hokey pokey. I'm not going in and out. No. That song, that I don't remember what they said about that song. It means something. It means something, but I just can't remember what they said it meant. I don't know. It's something about, you know, teaching kids something. I don't know. Something. It's a crazy song. I know that. It's a crazy song. But I, I can't remember what they said that was about. It was about something. I, I can't remember if recall what that was about. I was a kid once myself, and and that song was around when I was a kid, so you know how old that song is. I, I'm no spring chicken anymore, but I, I was uh, once a kid myself. We all were at one time on here. And, um, yeah, I know, huh? Yeah, I know. 
that thing was around a long time. How about the bicycle built for two, Paul? Remember that song? Daisy Bell? I'm not saying I'm old as that song, though. You ever heard of that song, Daisy Bell? Bicycle built for two? You heard it out? <laughs> oh, my God. That is a funny song. <laughs> they got some funny songs I'm telling you Jeez <laughs> Oh Ray Mary Ain't what she used to be <laughs> Remember that song, Paul? Yo, Gray Mare, she ain't what she used to be. <laughs> Many more years ago. <laughs> oh, Gray Mare, she ain't. I don't want to start singing no more here. I might get uh, my trio in trouble. So I got to be careful. Matthew mentioned the tune, the uh, name of a song. They, they tell you, oh, you can't do that on here. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I have a kid's video about that, you know. And see, I know all about producing videos and how to put things, how props are put in. I know a lot about that. And the guy put a... Um, a video about that with this kid and this girl on there that were making kids videos and i said to the guy i said you know that bike is not really moving is it he says no i said well, i bet it's bolted down right and he said yeah it's on my flatbed truck i said i knew it was because the kid can't even reach the pedals the kid was too small to reach the pedals and he and they're showing someone riding the bike and it wasn't him it was a grown-up and the kid couldn't even reach the pedals. So you know very well the kid was not riding that, that bike. And I told the guy that. But the kid liked the girl that was with him in the video. And the father didn't like that saying at all. I said, don't be so don't be so bashful. The kid likes it. He likes it. What are you going to do? You know, they do like each other. You can tell they're in the video. They're smiling at each other. They're the same age. and nothing wrong with it. Jeez. They're not related to each other. The guy said, I know, but uh, oh my gosh. Jeez. Well, those good old songs in those days, you know. They got a lot more songs out there, too, that, you know, like, um, Skip to the Lou, My Dial. Never heard that one, Paul? I think, let me see. I got some CDs here they put on kids' CDs. Uh, let me see here. Um, let's see. Oh, there it is. Um, paint the fence. You're a grand old flag, Yankee Doodle. Pick a bale of cotton, Battle of the Henry Republic. It's on these CDs. You see, there's another one here, too. No, I'm going to have my head. <laughs> I got nothing on this CD. Oh my gosh. Adventure songs. Paint, paint, paint the fence. A day at the farm, this train. Uh, Whether the crickets were you, it would be you. The floating zoo. Floating zoo. 
I made these. And I don't know what you came to do. I can't remember the other one now. I'm sure it's on this one. I can put this in the name on the CD though. Shame on myself. <laughs> I made all these CDs of the kids' songs from cassettes. I use them for my ministry. For the kids' ministry, I used to teach in church. With the teacher present, unfortunately. I wouldn't have done it if the teacher wasn't there. Oh, okay. So all those songs are um, that are old, like um, London Bridge is Falling Down. Falling. Remember that song? London Bridge is Falling Down. Okay, good night, dear Paul. Take care of your sinus problems, too. Nice seeing you. God bless, all right? Take care of yourself. So we're going to make it two hours, and we're going to get on off here. But right now, it ain't two hours yet, so don't anybody leave yet, all right? Everybody stay put. So anyway, so Beverly Martha, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a little question, Beverly, all right? Do you like cooking? Do you enjoy cooking? just want to know that. I don't know one. I don't know any lady that doesn't like to cook. You know. My girlfriend loves cooking, though. Oh, you don't like to cook? I'm surprised. But your mom does. Okay, you learn anything from her? No, I'm not. I only spoke of Paul. Shame on you. I'm just asking questions as a, as a host of a channel. Relax. I already have somebody, Paul. I'm not trying to get to know her. She's a friend of mine. Crazy ideas, Paul. I can't show you my girlfriend's picture on here. I would. But I won't. So I, I don't want her to be known on YouTube. But anyway... I just like to know because I ask everybody questions, Paul, on here. That's what part of being a host of a channel. I just like to know because, you know, all girls like to cook. You know, the mothers teach their daughters how to cook. My mom taught my sisters how to cook. My brother David learned from my mom. So, you know, mothers do teach their children how to cook. I watched my mother cooking before. I learned from her. You did, but that was a mistake. You and I don't want and I, and I never you didn't take a picture of her, did you? When you seen it, I hope not. I don't want no one doing that. But I don't want to show a picture off to anybody. I don't want no one seeing her face. This is personal stuff. That's going to be one day. It's going to be my wife. So I don't want no one seeing her face. All right, it's personal stuff here to me. But anyway, she won't be ever on YouTube, though. I talked about that to her already. She agreed on it, and she said she'll never be on YouTube. So, and I said, good. I'm glad to hear that. No kidding, Paul. No kidding. What do you want from this cowboy? I, hey, I, I, I love my beautiful woman. I can't help it. I, I have my good taste in women. I know how to pick them. And I'm darn good at it, too, believe me. And she's one my one and only. Nobody else. I used to have a facial beard too, but it hurts her face. Like I have to shave my face every day. It's like ridiculous. But uh, 
I don't look at any other ladies. I just talk to people. She knows I talk to women on YouTube. She trusts me. She knows I won't do her wrong. So I told her, and she said, oh, it's all right. Everybody's a family on here. Everybody's family on here, even you, Paul. So you're a family on here, too. So go take it. Don't go have a good night's sleep there, bud. Because if you don't, if you keep being on, you're never going to get some sleep. So go get some sleep. Okay? Get your rest. I'll see you tomorrow again, Paul. Take care of yourself. So I, I like cooking, too. I, I know how to cook myself, but but I like pizza. I, I'm a pizza freak, right? I like pizza bagels. I like pizza. I like bagel pizzas. You know, I love pizza. I can't help it. Yeah, but you you and you need to sleep. So go get some sleep there, Paul. I never said you couldn't leave. Go to bed. I'll see you again when you come back on you tomorrow, all right? Good night, Paul. Take care of yourself, okay? Go to bed. Get your rest. You need your sleep, Paul. It's late in the morning over there. I need my mods to get their rest. So go get your rest, my friend, okay? You're a good friend of mine. I want you to keep yourself in good, good health. So go get your rest. Good night, Paul. Good night, Paul. Good night. Get some sleep. Nighty night, Paul. Sweet dreams. All right. Well, anyway, now I was talking to Beverly Moffat. All right. Good night. I'll see you tomorrow. So, Beverly, just let me ask you another question. Now, did you learn any cooking from your mom when, when she cooks? Do you watch her? Did she teach you how to cook? Do you you learn anything from your mother or what, uh, Beverly? What, what is it? Do you learn anything from your mom about cooking? I'm gonna know that too. I'm curiosity caught the cat here. You know, we're all talking about cooking on here, so let's keep the subject going. So, what's the answer you're gonna tell me, Beverly? Do you learn anything from your mom about the cooking situation? I know you said you don't like to cook. Your mom does, but. Are you learning anything from her? That's my question to you. Now, what is your answer about that? What is your answer about that, Beverly? You learn anything from your mom? I know you're still here, Beverly. Oh, that's good. That's good, Paul. So now you can go to sleep now, too. <laughs> if you keep talking to me, Paul, you're never going to leave the stream. I'm telling you. And you're going to be dead tomorrow, really tired. You don't want to be over overtired. It's hard getting you sleep and you're overtired. Believe me. I know I went through it. So anyway, I'm waiting for my answer from Beverly Moffat. You know, she taught us how to make Chinese dumplings. Wow. What else you had to make? <laughs> but she teaches you, right? You learn a lot, a lot about from her, right? You learn things. Always pay attention to what your mother shows you. Because there's going to be only one time you learn. One day you might want to cook for yourself. You know, you never know. But it's good that you learn from her. She, that's a good mentor right there. My mother was my my mentor. And I I learned some things out of cook. I know how to cook, but I just don't like to. My girlfriend says to me, oh, if I'm going to be with you, you're going to, you're going to cook with me, right? I said, yeah, I'm going to cook with you, but I just don't feel like cooking when I'm by myself. I hate, I hate, but I do cook pizzas. I love pizza. I'm a pizza freak. I like my pizzas. So, but you know, um, if you don't, if you're, if some people have a problem eating sauce, you can put sugar in the sauce to, to take the acid out of the sauce. You know that, right, Beverly? You know that trick, right? Put a little sugar in the sauce and kill the acid in the sauce. If some people are, have acid reflux real bad. They can't eat the sauce that's going to bother them, the acid in the sauce. You can put a little sugar in the sauce. <laughs> Paul, you're cracking me up. Oh, my gosh, Paul. You're really something. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Paul, you're something. You really are. Yeah, but that's you heard about that, right? Probably about putting the sugar in the sauce if it gets too acidy for your if you have acid reflux. That's well known by everybody. Even Julie May knows that question. 
Yeah, you do too. I knew you did. Because Julie May knows that too. Everybody that knows how to cook knows that. My mother taught me that one. And she said, put a little sugar in the sauce if it gets too too much for you. It cuts the acid down and it dissolves it. I know Paul wants to stay up here until it gets too late in the morning, but he needs his sleep. So nighty night, Paul. All right. Yeah, though so, um, so if you make a pizza, say if you Beverly, if you if you can make a bagel pizza, right? It doesn't take much sauce to make it. And if you want to make a bagel pizza, and if you have a uh, toaster oven, because that's only a pizza oven too, you can put the uh, the bagel in there, a little sauce around there, put cheese on top, on pepperoni or whatever, and cook it in for twenty minutes. Take it out; it's nice and nice and delicious and stuff. It's good. Oh, it's good. I got pepperoni on mine. I love it. I grind the pepperoni up in the blender though, so I can throw it over on top of it and it tastes awesome. It tastes good. I can't wait to make it again. As my brother's mouth gets better, I'll make some for him too. I told him I would. Um, it's really good that um, the um... <laughs> <laughs> Paul, you're something else. I know pineapple's good to me. <laughs> I know that I had that before. It's good. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I'm telling you. Well, <laughs> well, if you make a bagel pizza there, Paul, you can put pineapple on it, right? It's not hard to do. Just buy a bagel, uh, some bagels, cut them in two pots, put the sauce over it, Paul, cheese, and whatever you want to put on it, and put your pineapple on it, and sit and eat it. You can you can have them any time of night. They don't bother you. Could be a snack even, you know, too. I like to have them any time, you know. Even for breakfast, I make them. They're darn good in breakfast. So, Paul, what do they call bagels over your country? What do they call them over there? Are they saying called that, too? Or are they called something else? I don't know what they call them over England. Once you're up here talking to me still. <laughs> Something else, man. Oh. <laughs> we have fish and chips with pineapple fritter. Oh my god. Oh, they're not called bagels over there. Man. All right. I know um now I know what they call me see um Oh, I can't remember. Crumpets. That's they call English muffins over there, crumpets, right? They call English muffins over there, crumpets, right, Paul? That's what they call English muffins over there, crumpets. Right? Am I right? Paul, you got a question for you. Uh, Beverly's asking you a question, Paul. I don't eat fried foods. I told you that before. I can't. I can't eat fried foods. It bothers me. But I will do it in a, uh, 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 a fryer there. Uh, that thing there, they don't use um. Oh yes, he, okay. She he said yes, probably. Okay, that's something else, Paul. You are something. You you crack me up. You really do. Now you, now you can go to sleep there there fast fishing with Paul, right? You need your sleep, so nighty night, my friend. Okay, that's all we can. Well, it won't bother you any more tonight, dear Paul. Go to bed. We're going to leave you alone. You need your sleep. It's late over there. It's late over there. All right, everybody. We made the three two-hour mark. 
we made the two hours. So we're going to end the stream, okay? We hope to see everybody again on Custom Screen Printing. And I can say to you again, Paul, nighty night, Paul. Sleep tight, all right? You made it out the bed bugs bite, okay? Go to sleep, okay? It's all done. We're ending. So good night, Paul. We're ending the stream with two hours. We made the two-hour mark, Paul. So good night, Paul. Nighty night, Mr. Paul. And everybody on the stream, I'll see you again tomorrow on Custom Screen Printing. We'll do another morning stream tomorrow. We'll be up here in the morning, so we'll see everybody then. We do morning and evening. We don't do any afternoon streams no more. So good night there, Paul, and sweet dreams, everybody, and we'll see each other tomorrow on Custom Screen Printing. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, Paul.